This, as you can see, is the Motorola Defy, um, or you, you may be able to see. Uh, as you can see, it's got the Moto Blur interface on here at the moment. And we just wanted to show you um, something that has just popped up in the Android market, which um, basically will make your Android phone look like a Windows phone. So I'm just going to do a search for it. I really haven't prepared this as usual. And, uh, Windows Phone 7 is something that we've been looking at in you've seen lots of videos of Windows Phone 7 here in the car and elsewhere but Android Technical have got a free and a paid for application which will make your phone look like a Windows Phone so I'm just going to install it as normal just go to the Android market I've done a search for Windows Phone and it's uh, installing as we speak from the top here and then it's installed so we'll just fire it up and here you go, Windows Phone. And we get, um, if we just get this focused a little better, you can see we've got 3G mobile hotspot, all the stuff. Scrolls up and down as normal. And what you can do is you can pin one of these apps to your... You can't quite see that on the phone, sorry about this on the camera, but it says pin to start, so I'll just pin that to the start. I can do that again and just go to say dial up do the same on that pin to start and I can quickly start building up my own Windows Phone 7 handset oops that's actually going into my email Windows Phone 7 handset um, front panel so as you can see it's very smooth um, Oops, click it right into the right place. This is a usual one-handed video that I'm doing for you, but I just wanted to show you this. Of course, you don't get the live tile feature, but you can quickly see that I can build up Windows Phone 7. And I can create uh, a Windows Phone 7 main page. And you can pretend that your Android handset is wish. And you can sort of scroll up and down, I presume, as you add more and more tiles into there. But um, that is the... Uh, the application itself we can go down here we can go to settings we can change the theme so I'm going to change it to light so that we can see a bit more we can change the accent which is very much like a uh, Windows phone that's a green press save settings and we've gone white now and we still got the up the top here we got all the phone notification stuff up the top the clock and all that stuff uh, the Wi-Fi connection status it's very very nice indeed but of course when you tap into one of these apps it goes into the standard Android app but you can show off to your friends if you wish that you have a Windows Phone 7 when you actually don't